three of us just watched the brand new Treehouse of Horror episode. It was from season 33, episode 3. It's Treehouse of Horror XXXII. That's right, we twisted it up this year. Usually we've been doing the classic episodes, but today we decided, nah, this new one's pretty good. We enjoyed it, so we're going to jump on the camera and we're going to come at you with some new Simpsons Treehouse mm -hmm. of Horrors. All right. So, there were a couple of cool vignettes in this one. I have them written down if you need them. Yes, Parasite, Nightmare on Elm Tree, Telltale Bart, and Dead Ringer. And that Telltale Bart was just a quick little poem in the middle of it, but everything was great. But it was a Vincent Price parody, which yeah. is enough to make me happy. So exactly. Alright, want to kick it off with lines? Give me a line. Um, finally, I can take revenge on all the leaves I've had to rake and all the trees I've had to prune. <laughs> <laughs> and that was Willie. That was Willie. We got Willie right here. Nightmare on Elm Tree segment. <laughs> what about you? Mine is, I wasn't built for the American ass. <laughs> <laughs> and that was in the Parasite uh, story. And uh, they had one of the uh, special yeah, sophisticated Japanese foreign, toilets yeah. or something or whatever. Yeah, a and, uh, toilet and a bidet. Yeah. And uh, apparently they didn't appreciate Homer using it. No, and the day said he keeps using me as a drinking fountain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, it was uh, good. Yes. It was so good. No, this episode, it gets started <laughs> with, um, even before the opening credits, it does, you know, a riff on Disney. And Bambi, yeah. And Bambi, and it just had me laughing from moment one with its horror <laughs> that it showed and um it's just great stuff some really great stuff very good you got a second line? line number two bart is known for nude butt faxes <laughs> and that was from the telltale bart which was a poem and so the mm. vincent price character goes through the entire year in january bart is this in february and whatever and um, Bart is known for nude butt faxes was one of them. <laughs> He's sitting on a fax machine and it's pictures of his butt. <laughs> yep. What about you? All right. My second line is the one where the little girl's head is full of potato bugs and she can't tell. Besides, that's only partially true. <laughs> <laughs> and then Lisa and Maggie are all freaked out about the yeah. stories that Bart's telling in the treehouse. And, yeah, and so they, they have to bury themselves under the covers yeah, because... Yeah. yeah, they run into uh, Homer and Marge's yep. bed and that's that's what Homer says to try to get rid of them, right. but it only makes things worse. Do you have a bonus line? I have a bonus line and it is, This is the kind of movie you watch in a museum when your feet hurt. <laughs> And my feet always hurt. Oh, <laughs> that was grandpa. grandpa. <laughs> oh, boy. I, I don't know. I have two bonus lines. Say them. We both got good. Um, I put a roof over your head. Well, under oh, your yeah. head. After Hans Molman falls through the ceiling. Yes. In the, the Parasite is, episode. Yeah. That's pretty great. And then, um, Marge. I did a chore today. I unloaded the dishwasher all, all the, the way. way. <laughs> <laughs> he deserves all kinds of special favors yep. for Larry. <laughs> yeah, sure does. So what's your scene? My scene, guess what my scene is. Mm, it's a hard one because there are quite a few choices here. You know the kind of plant life that I think I know. is fun. I know. There's a scene where there's a parody on the Audrey 2 from <laughs> Little Shop of Horrors. Had to do it. It was in the uh, Nightmare on Elm Tree, which is a great story, by the <laughs> way, because all these trees go crazy and start attacking. It's hilarious. So, just because it was Audrey 2, it had yep. to go in because, you know, you know how I like that movie. I know. Yeah. I know. 
that whole segment. So <laughs> they made a little bit of a joke that usually the they mm -hmm. have three skits for Treehouse of Horror, mm -hmm. and the first one is great, and the second one's so so mediocre, and then the third one's great. I, the second one this year was my all-time favorite, and that oh, was yeah. the the Nightmare on Elm Tree. Yeah, it and was so um, good. it that was my favorite scene was um, so the Homer goes out and he starts hacking down the elm tree that has the tree house in their backyard and has been there for years, and it comes to life and starts you know some shenanigans in the city. <laughs> and my favorite part of that scene. Um, has to be that the dog is peeing on the tree and it, the tree kicks the dog across the city. <laughs> <laughs> and there's just some great scenery there. Mm -hmm. All these famous trees, like the Giving Tree shows <laughs> up from Shel Silverstein and um, uh, just some great cameo trees. Yeah, there the tree beard. And, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a really good Excellent. All Crazy right. stuff. Winners and losers, what do you, how do you want to do that? Um, who's your winner? So winner was hard in this episode because mm -hmm. there's not a lot of winners. So I went with Willie mm -hmm. because during the tree thing, they decided to show down with the trees. And Willie's got two chainsaws and two like circular saws on his feet. And he's like, yeah, let's, let's go fight you with these. Now he ended up getting his arms cut off. Right. But the fact that he was willing to put... Circular saws on his feet and have two chainsaws to face these trees that were attacking. Mm -hmm. I say the dude had guts, so he wins. What do so, you I mean, that goes with my line because <laughs> yeah. he, was, he was serious about taking revenge on all those leaves that he had to wait. Exactly, so, yeah. Go Willie. Yeah. Funny story. I also have with Willie as well. Yeah. <laughs> Not for that reason, but matter. still Willie for still my Willie. winner of this episode. Um <laughs> Primarily because in the last, The Dead Ringer is a spoof of the movie The Ring. <laughs> yeah. And um, so all the kids are watching a video and, you know, after seven days, they're dying off, just like in the movie The Ring. So Willie is telling the kids the story that the person in the phone video that all the kids are watching this incident at school happened in the 1930s and Willie shows up in his flashback of the 1930s <laughs> and so he looks really darn good he's for, aged well yes he has because he would be like 120 if that were the case it's true so <laughs> he's looking pretty darn good in this episode mm -hmm. and just the fact that he was knowledgeable and survived that whole situation back in the 30s and throughout the years makes him the winner in my book i like it what Willie. about your loser king and kodos because they only had a cameo at the very end of the episode they haven't gotten any love for a while no. just being the center of treehouse of horror so king and kodos there were lots of losers in this by the way because it's a yeah, it's horror true. story episode but they were the ones, and just because I like talking about King and Kodos, mm -hmm. so here we good, go. Good plan. Mm -hmm. What do you got? Um, my loser is the comic book guy, <laughs> because the tree, during the tree episode, he ends up being turned into a beanbag chair. <laughs> so we don't get to see that on screen, but just my imagination makes him the loser of this <laughs> whole Tree House of Horror episode. Mm-hmm. Um, I do want to point out that I absolutely loved the Disney start, and I loved that they end with Kang Kodos as a cameo in this mm -hmm. treehouse as well. So. Yep. yep. Great watch. Very fun. It is the brand new, it just dropped, mm -hmm. um, season 33, episode 3, also known as Treehouse of Horror 32. Since, as you remember, they didn't have a Treehouse of Horror the first season mm -hmm. of The Sentences. We just watched it on Hulu streaming, and you can do the same. Yep. Um, I'm sure it's available on Disney Plus as well. Probably. Yeah. I haven't looked that I haven't far. checked that yet, but you can definitely get it on Hulu because we just watched it. Right. right. So, yep. give it a watch. Mm -hmm. See what you think. 
share your favorite, your favorite lines, your favorite scenes, all of those good things. Be sure to subscribe in the lower corner here and give us a thumbs up if you like this episode. Thank you for watching another episode of Coming Up Mill House. And until next time, Jiminy, Jiminy Jilkers! Jilkers.